Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show how to set up a large cracky system using a 60 gallon pickle barrel. Okay, so I've got this, um, I think it's a 60 or 65 gallon pickle barrel. I got it like one of these um, barrel and drum places the resales used. So I mean, it should be food safe because it's just had pickles in it. So it's going to have a six inch net pot. So this actually fits perfectly there. So what I think I'm going to do, drill a couple pilot holes and take a jigsaw and cut a hole big enough for, uh, for this part to fit down in. Okay, so I added the water. Now I'm going to add some nutrients. This is Don and Grow 795. Add about one teaspoon per gallon. Now I'm going to just stir it up really well with a piece of PVC pipe. And use my truncheon to test the strength. And you can't really see it very well here but it's around 500 ppm. I pruned the roots about an inch or two place for placing them in and just drilling holes through the net pot lid and the top of the pickle barrel lid and securing with some nylon zip ties. This is just to keep the plant from falling out when it gets top heavy. Okay, so I've got the Butch T Scorpion installed. It's been in the five gallon DWC. And I've got, I'm estimating about, it's a 60 gallon barrel. I think I got about 55 gallons worth of solution in here. PPM's around 500-ish. And I'm working on a PVC frame. Then I'm gonna kind of square up around here. And the leaves will just kind of support the plant against the frame. So here's the how the butch tea is looking now in the 60 gallon pickle barrel. Uh, I had a, a branch kind of split on me. You can kind of see back there. It's actually kind of growing in to where I put this, I put a band around it to kind of pull it together. Probably need to cut this and then put another one, but it's kind of, it's split right here at the little fork. And the other, the side um, that broke was looking really bad. It's starting to come back now, but the other side has been thriving, getting lots of, lots of peppers on it. See a bunch under here, and it's grown back over there, and yeah, over there. Still hasn't gotten quite as big as I thought it would. I think that split kind of set it back, and uh, it was a younger plant to begin with. But there's still a lot of season left, so I think that um, I don't think I even need to refill this. I don't know where it's at now. This is so hard; it's hard to tell, but. Um, and I don't want to risk damaging it by twisting this off, but the leaves and the fruits look good, so I'm just going to let it keep going. So that's how you do these large cracky systems. You can see this one will probably make it through one, on one fill up, whereas the Bigelucky I showed uh, probably won't. Uh, so I need to add some more. Yeah, so anyway, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.